in this tutorial I will be separating our code to multiple components. Uh, the first thing we will do is to extract this hero class to its own file. So if I go to the app folder, I can create new folder called models and in this folder new file called hero.ts. And here I will copy paste this code. And now I will go back to the app component.ts and import it. Um, I can just click Ctrl and dot and this import pop-up will show and it will automatically import for us. Um, you can get this functionality by this auto import plugin for Visual Studio Code. Um, in the case if you don't have this plugin, you need to um, just import it like this. So I will look in the models folder, hero class, and I will import hero, hero file, and I will import the hero class like this. And now we will check if our work, uh, app still works. Okay, good, it works. This hero details is now in the app component class, but it should be in its own component. So I will go to the Angular CLI like this, and we can generate new component with ngg component and hero detail like this. And this will automatically create all the files and also it will add it to the app module file. It added new folder and these four files. And also in the app module, it imported under declarations this new hero detail component. So we will move all the specific stuff for the displaying of hero into its own file like this into the hero detail html and we will now again rename the selected hero to the hero i will show you why in a second just rename it and now we will use this component in our app component like this and if I go to the app component HTML I can paste it like this like this and we will pass it the, this hero object like this hero is the selected hero like this and now in the details of page we need to declare the input so the input for these details will be our hero we also need to import the input from angular core and we need to import the hero class like this uh, so if i explain again uh, we have this App dot component dot HTML, which displays all the heroes, and if if we click on the selected hero, it passes it like hero property uh, to the hero details component, and in the hero details component, it's declared like input, and we display it in its HTML like this. So hero dot name, hero dot name, hero dot ID. And if we look our app, it still works. I can change it and so on. But we separated this hero detail from its parent, the 